Sykes. Hit the go-ahead bucket to beat the Wildcats a couple of weeks ago. Guarded by Norton. Here's Glidden. Gives it to Wetzel! Oh! is just a really good athlete. There's that pocket pass, just driving baseline. They force him to the baseline with a... Draws a little double team. Moody picks up the dribble. This is what we want to see. Gives it up to Blansfield for the deep three. That's a real good hit, and we know Bryce Cotton is a selfless superstar. To break this tie, Sykes right at Mooney. Euro stepped around him, lays it off the window. Great Cotton. scouting by the Wildcats. Oh, Cotton just splits a double team with the dribble. White turned down the first one. Now wants to get it back and get to work. Shot clock down to one right at Sykes. Tough by Kevin White. Able to kiss it off the window. Cotton curls around it. Only the one shot for Bryce Cotton in this first quarter. Mooney bumped by Wetzel and it will count. Guarded by Sykes. Trying to end the quarter in the best possible way. Gets downhill behind the back. Great pass inside to Norton who gets a little two hands shoving the back. The level of skill that individuals have. Right, Jesse Wagstaff gets the hand. They're able to put some pressure on Mitch Creek through a little press. And it causes the turnover. That's turnover number six for the Phoenix tonight. Norton with the rebound. Another offensive rebound. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> that's turned into a skyhook. Remarkable 15 seconds. In the end, Mooney just wanted it more. He gets the hit, fitters it with the left hand. Being able to do this. Six points, five rebounds. This is what he does. You have to box out. You don't box out against Perth Wildcats. They want to get the ball out of his hand. He knew he could take that player, adding him one-on-one. -on -one. That's exactly what he did. He got a bucket. Great, similar theory. Dribbles around Moon. Little pick and roll here is Mooney. Fade away short. But just wanting a more Blanchfield. Yes. Didn't take a dribble. Somehow got behind the three-point line. Either way, able to find it. And that will be the maximum. Off the Mooney screen. Gets around Tarangi fairly comfortably. Oh, that is oh. unbelievable ball movement. A hockey assist from Cotton. In and out for Sykes. They're 2 of 12 from the three-point line. Oh, just lobs it up. Norton to Mooney. Flush. And this is getting really ugly. Well, I think it's time to have a look at something else. I can understand the theory about what they're trying to do with those hard shows. But it's not working. Takes a bump, gets it to work as well. Here is Cotton, guarded by Glidden. Shot clock's at five. Travis turned down the three, used a little herky jerky wow. hesitation. I'm going this way, no, I'm not. A little layup, and this is why this guy's go back to this. Oh, nice, beautiful. In and out with the. Wow. That Baseline is... drive, in and out. And here we go again. Attacks the hey. rim. Gave Gibson no opportunity to play any type of defense. Aggressive, explosive finish. Gets the steal, and he goes upstairs. That was impressive. That little sequence, that 30 seconds, that should be featuring on his YouTube highlight reel. Not a lot necessarily to run for Ben Moore, but just through energy and persistence. One for three. Got it. Cleaning the glass, John Mooney. If you're courtside right now with the glass of red, he might snaffle that before the night's out. Blanchfield straight on three. He is cooking. Blanchfield, 22. Bryce Cotton, seven assists. And make that 15 points. I agree. Like, these are, these are, these are, there's a couple of players on this team that Rookies. don't get a great deal of time. Correct. You know what? Let them fang up a shot without raising an eyebrow.